when you bend these, you kind of have to really support it so that it doesn't break. You can do it just so far and then on the side to break. Here's another one where the branching is all coming out from the side and I want it to come out from the top, so I'm going to twist this a little bit. Difficult to find cameras that have any movement in the trunk. Yeah, that's that's what's hard. Yeah, they do tend to grow straight. Very straight. Mm -hmm. Take the cuttings. Yeah, the cuttings are, are usually straight, like that. Okay. You can take cuttings about this size. Yeah, just uh, make sure you plant it the right side up. <laughs> um, actually, you can take cuttings bigger than that if you can keep them muted. If you can keep them moist. Um, most of the cuttings I took when I took these were this between these two this size, and just about 100% of them root. Yeah, in fact, you can just, you can take cuttings this big, and just cut them off and keep them in water, they'll root every time. So, but um, if you don't start, what we did is, you know, I, I let them grow for the first year in one gallon can, and they got these tall, kind of straight, hippy things, and we wrapped them around a stake. And that's how I cut these curves. Oh, so you made you made you made the yeah we wrapped them around the stick. Okay, very good. Um, and then this one rooted really into the ground. And, and our, somebody wanted to buy it last year, and I went to pick it up, and almost threw my back out. <laughs> I remember that this is a broken branch here. I won't forget this. I'll put a ribbon on it. Do you have a ribbon? I love how confident these people are. I'm falling to take it. I'm bribable, by the way. Get a ticket, put a fold in it. Give me 20 bucks, tell me what the fold feels like. You might have using a lot of wire with these things. <laughs> you didn't think I would. <laughs> then you should have been a place to go.
fried them with a torch and charred them. And I planted them on the slab about where the World Trade Center is, or was. And then planted all the trees around them. And the biggest tree wound up about where the Empire State Building would be. And my original idea was to donate it to the city of New York. Um, that's a way of paying a buck trying to give the city of New York something. <laughs> and the hoops I jumped through for about three years were ridiculous. They told me they'd take it and they changed their mind and then they said they would and they said they wouldn't. Then the Parks Department said that they were going to take it, they were going to put it on display at their Parks Department headquarters, which is right in front of the Central Park Zoo, which would have been awesome. And, yeah, they said they were going to do it. I flew to New York and we talked and I arranged for some uh, New York bonsai clubs to volunteer to do the maintenance on it and stuff. And, you know, I told them that I would be there at least twice a year. My family's back east. And, uh, you know, everything was cool. Then they called me up and said, oh, we can only take it on a temporary basis. We're going to keep it here for 30 days. So like, you're right, you're kidding me, right? I'm going to drive all the way across the country with this thing, and then 30 days have to find another home for it? No, thank you. So after a few years, I kind of gave up on that. <coughs> it's been sitting at the nursery ever since, growing and getting trimmed, and a couple trees have died to be replaced this fall. But um, it's turned into a pretty neat forest plan. And uh, I've kind of come to the conclusion now that it really needs to be someplace where they can be appreciated by the public and not just the, the small percentage of the public that come in more and more. Um, but I have one now. And I actually have a blog that, you know, I. Uh, Generally, I try at least once a month, sometimes more, to do something on that. And the posting this month on the blog is about making that forest plan. So if you uh, just Google Bonsai VP and it'll find my blog or go to my website, more Bonsai Nursery, and you can find the blog. And you can kind of see pictures of the making of it. I don't have any pictures, unfortunately, of making the slab. I wish I did, because it was kind of a cool process. And something I'd never done before, didn't know if it was going to work. <laughs> I started putting color in it, and it just looked too fake. It looked like fiberglass. So I took a bunch of handfuls of bones I saw, I went and threw it on there, and it's like, that's cool, it adds texture. So it's got rocks in it, it's got some soil, and uh, some color, and stuff like that. It looks pretty cool. It's been hanging on for 10 years now, and it's still in good shape. I've only moved the thing a couple of times because it's really heavy. There's a, I think we use somewhere between 10 and 15, 15 gallon cans of soil in this thing. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's always amazing how much soil you use in a bonsai pot or on a slab like that. Just like when you trim one of these, you know, it's amazing the, the amount of stuff that comes off of these little trees. But, what time is it? Just noon. Okay. Um, I'm going to cut a couple things off of this. If I cut them off, I don't have to wire them. And nobody else will put steel will know. Sometimes I lose my head if it wasn't attached to me. Yeah, getting old sucks. I don't know, you know, cheap is cheap. I don't care if it's clothes or tools or plant materials. You know, once in a blue moon you can find a good deal, but cheap is cheap. And, you know, the crap you buy at Walmart is cheap doesn't last. For the most part, you know, when you buy that cheap stuff like that, you buy three or four of them and spend more than it would cost to buy one good one. So. 
I should keep wiring all these little branches and stuff, but frankly, I'm tired of wiring. <laughs> and I want to work on ficus. Because yeah. the tree is mine, I do the so, rest. Uh, Another confident. A little bit in this. Try to move this back here, fill in a little bit of this empty space. I should have left that broken branch on there. Hold on. I knew one will grow. There. Thanks. Nice.